Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Patrice and today we are going to be unboxing the sublimation blanks that I ordered from Amazon. All right y'all, so we are going to get ready to test out these items from Amazon. Amazon has not that great of a reputation for sublimation blanks, however, I have had tons of success finding items from Amazon. So if you want to know how you should search for sublimation blanks on Amazon, I'll have a link listed in the description for you to check out a video where I kind of walk you through that process. But today we are getting ready to unbox these items, see what we have, and I am simply going to go from box to press and show y'all if these items truly work or if they don't. So. First, we have these. These are like popsicle holders. It keeps the popsicle inside and your hands won't get cold. A lot of children use these. You could use these for other things. In my classroom, I actually use these as pencil cases or pencil holders. And I have my kids' names on it so that they don't get mixed up. But this package comes in a variety of different colors. And this is neoprene. And so I don't know about y'all, but every time I press neoprene, neoprene does not have the best of smells, but it subs great. So we are going to test these out. And these, I've actually done these before, so I know that they work really, really well. Next, we have these flags. And so these are great for parades or if you're at a sporting event, you can put your favorite team on there. So we are going to see how this subs. I have not subbed on any of these flags before. It also comes with a stick. I guess so that you can hold the flag. Next, we have, you know, I don't even know what this is. I don't know if this is like a bookmark, but it's like holographic. And it says that it's for sublimation. So I don't know, let's open it up and see. Right. Usually I have my computer with me to remind me of what I ordered, but I have so many other boxes full of sublimation blanks from Amazon that I have not gotten a chance to get to. So, here. All right. So they say this is for sublimation. So these are pillowcases, but they're holographic uh, glitter pillowcases. So they say it's for sublimation. We are definitely going to check this out and test it and see, but it is very pretty. It's a pillowcase. I just want to check and see if anywhere inside it says polyester, but well, there's no tag inside. So we are definitely just going to be testing this out. I have no idea whether or not this is going to take or not. So next we have these nail clipper keychains. And we are going to try these out. Of course, with these, you are subbing onto a metal plate. And then there is usually double-sided adhesive on the keychain. And we're just going to press it on there once we sub. But these look to be in very, very good, very, very good quality. They really do. All right. And next, we have these, I think they're name tag clips. And they stretch. And so, again, it's the same situation. And there's going to be a metal plate that we put on the top along with double-sided adhesive. So for all of these items, you want to measure them, of course, prior to even doing your design. Okay, and next we have, looks like we have some name tags that we're going to be doing. So I have the circular name tag. And then you have the clip that we're going to apply to the back. And I think this may, I wonder if this is the adhesive to stick it on. But we are going to see. We're going to see how this goes. And it also comes in a circle and or it looks like a square. So it's two different types. So you have the circle or the square. I think we may do the square. All right, and next and last for this sublimation haul, 
is going to be some wine koozies, some wine glass koozies. Uh -oh. Four comes in a pack. It's five and a pack. And so here we go. And so we are going to sub onto this also. All right, y'all. So we have everything that we are going to be testing out today. And I'm super excited to see the result. So let's get started. All right, guys. So first we're going to start with the keychain and also the lanyard clip. And you want to make sure that you peel off the plastic that is on top of these items. And because these circles are so small, I am not going to try to cut them out. So I am just going to tape this face down onto the paper. And I'm using heat tape. Today I'm using my Epson EcoTank 15,000 to print out all of these images. Some of the designs are from design bundles and one design is from Etsy. Before I do that, these are pretty thin, so I just wanna make sure I check the pressure, and that pressure feels like it's gonna be really good for this item. This is all done. And you do want to make sure you have heat gloves around because this can get very hot. All right, so this is what we have. As you see, I did not tape this down really good as far as it being aligned. And this is the other one. All right, so next we're going to get ready and press this image onto the flag and this flag is really really thin so you definitely want to make sure your pressure is right so i'm just going to try to tighten this up just a little bit and then we are just going to go with this you can put a little bit of tape on it so that you don't have a situation like I did where, even though I used the tape, I'm not sure how I was off with my alignment, but I was. I'm just gonna move this over. And what I'm noticing with these flags, they're not really all that straight. So that's another issue. But I think I'm just gonna put it here and then tape it onto the butcher paper. All right, so let's see how this turned out. No, so this is supposed to be able to be subbed, right? But no, this one is does not appear to be that good. It looks like it subbed fine, right? But it also melted. So look, now the, that color on there looks really good. So maybe too much pressure or maybe too long, but that looks super, super good. Okay, so this looks great, but that edge right here where the stick goes into, that does not sublimate. So you may want to press this with your easy press, but definitely keep it away from the heat. However, the flag turned out really, really nice. The colors are amazing on here. All right, so next we're gonna get ready and sub our name tag, and you wanna make sure you remove that plastic also. So we're gonna remove the plastic. I'm going to loosen up this pressure. And I'm just going to test it out because the wood, it's pretty thick. 
Like that's pretty good and so we're gonna get ready to press this on all right guys so this is how this turned out and I think it turned out pretty good you can put logos or whatever it is that you want to put on there but it turned out really really good and we'll put this together so next we are going to sub these wine glass sleeves and you want to make sure you lint roll these sleeves. This material is neoprene and it typically subs well. I'm just flattening it out a bit and giving it a pre-press to test the pressure. And I am just going to place this image on top. Make sure you measure your image a little bit larger than the actual sleeve because once you press and flatten it out, it kind of expands that shape a bit. So that's what happened to me, but I'm going to go with it. And I actually love how it came out. Neoprene subs beautifully. And so I'm just going to press the other side and make sure you have butcher paper underneath because you don't want that ink to reactivate and get onto your heat press. So we are just going to press this and see how that other side comes out. And this is looking really, really good already. Everything looks great, y'all. I love how this subbed. This would also make a good gift if you're including it with like a gift set. So now we're going to sub onto these popsicle cases. I also use these as pencil cases. The material is also neoprene and just beware, sometimes neoprene has a special odor. Because of the colors, I chose to use black ink for these just to see how it comes out. I did not want to adventure too much with various colors. But y'all, this looks like this black works really, really good on both colors. So that yellow looks good and the blue looks good. I'm very happy with these. But I use those as pencil cases, but you can use it as popsicle holders. All right, and so look at this material. This is awesome. So this is the pillowcase that holographic looks great. Make sure you have it unzipped so that the zipper does not weld together when pressing. I am going to give this a pre-press. You'll see all of those wrinkles. And of course, I forgot to lint roll it, but I'm not really worried about this one too much. It is already a darker color, but that looks good. Y'all, I don't know if this can be subbed. That material gets kind of sticky. But for all over prints like this, this works really, really well. And so I just pieced together two 11 by 17 paper papers so that I could get an all over print for this pillow. Make sure you check your pressure because if you're doing something like this and you've pieced together an image, you want to make sure that that pressure is very, very firm so that you don't have a line where your image meets. Okay, so we are just going to press this. I am doing two presses because this is a 16 by 16. And even though my P press is a 16 by 24, I just want to make sure that that pressure is even. Make sure that you have your heat press protected and that you don't risk getting any ink onto your, your heat press. So that's what we're doing now. And I'm just turning it around so that I can kind of get the pressure um, or at least get that heat up top. The heat up top seems to be better to me. All right. So we are all done. And let's see how this came out. And y'all, I really have to peel this off of the paper. So this material is actually super, super good for all over prints because you don't have to really worry about it shifting when you press it. So everything looks good. You can't even tell where that meets up and I absolutely love it. And so you see the difference in the color from the back and the part that we actually sublimated. Just so that you guys know, both sides of this pillow can be subbed, but I am pretty, I'm pretty pleased with how this turned out. And all I'm going to do is stuff that with a pillow. So here's the nail clipper and the adhesive is already applied. So you just have to peel off that top layer so that you can apply the metal plate that you subbed onto it. Make sure you turn it the correct way so that it is not upside down. And 
yeah, I like it. I think that this looks super, super nice. This is going to make a great gift. If that's what you decide, you can personalize it, put pictures, whatever you want. Now we are going to get ready to place the metal piece onto this lanyard clip. And this particular product comes with the adhesive separate. So peel one side off and then place it onto the lanyard and then peel that second piece off. Once you peel the second piece off, all you have to do is place that middle piece on top also and make sure you have it the correct way. And this is super easy. Just give it a nice little firm press when you press it on so that way you can make sure that it is nice and stuck. So y'all, I love this flag and I love the U. But y'all, we melted the part where the stick is supposed to go through. So I'm not really putting it together, but I'm just showing you guys kind of like what you can do. You can get some adhesive and tape it on. If you like stitching, you can sew that back up together. So next we are going to get ready to put together the name tag. And I am just cutting a little piece of that adhesive that came with it. And this is also double-sided adhesive. So I'm just cutting a little piece, enough so that way that hardware can stick onto it. And I am going to put it on and peel the top piece of paper off. Also, y'all, if you want to use something a little bit stronger, E6000, or if you have like something, some other adhesive, you can use that also. But just make sure you put it on the correct way. And yeah, it looks good. I love how everything turned out, even my flag. All right, y'all. So we are all done with testing these items out from Amazon.com. And everything's up pretty well. Uh, we're going to first start with the neoprene items. And as y'all know, neoprene, or maybe some of you know, neoprene is great for sublimation. So these actually came out well. And I chose to use two different colors so that you can see how the color looks on it. So I might be a little more adventurous with this color and maybe trying out uh, other colors, pink, red, that sort of thing, or blue onto this one. But this color is very dark and I think I would just stick with the black, all right? And so you guys saw how our wine glass sleeve looked and it's a pretty tight fit. And this glass is a glass from the Dollar Tree, but it does fit. It's not one of the larger ones, okay? Next, we had our smaller items, and this name tag came out really good. And I am definitely planning on wearing this name tag whenever I go and I'm representing craftable things. This nail clipper would make an awesome gift. You can personalize it with a name or initials or something like that, or even a picture as like a keepsake, but this would make an awesome gift. And this lanyard clip or key clip, I don't know what you would use it for. I would use it for my badge for work, but this also subbed really well. Then y'all, this, Flag. So the flag part sublimated extremely well. It's just where the stick is supposed to go. That part melted, so it must be like a plastic. So you don't want to put that under the heat press. So you can just, I guess, sub that edge. If not, if you want to try to get it all over, then I would just suggest maybe getting some glue or some other type of adhesive and just rolling it over like that and it's still perfectly usable. And then we have this pillow and y'all, I really like this pillow. You can't really see the light does not. All right, so I had to move that light just to see if you guys could get a better look at it, but it's sub. So this is the original color and this is the color once we subbed it and I'm just trying to make a little shadow so that you guys can see how it subs. All right so I just want you guys to see a little closer how it looks and I think that it subbed really really good. Both sides can be subbed on too so you can sub the back also. But that is it for today. 
If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you are not already a subscriber. Head over to Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok and like Craftable Things there as well. But that's it, y'all. Thank you all so much for watching. Until next time. Thank you.